Okay, guys, so what you see here is a tailored mumu, meaning that the mumu is just a little bit smaller. And what you'll also need is a pair of scissors. You need your fabric bond. I got this from my uh, family dollar store. It is an iron type of family bond. It's like tape that you uh, can use to hem because this is a no-sew method. And you're also going to need your iron on the wool setting. I hope you can see that on the wool setting. So please make sure that you read the directions on the back of your fabric bond. It gives you some slight directions. It's very, very simple, but we're going to get right into it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the mumu down the center so i just wanted to remind you that we're just cutting the front layer we're not cutting both layers so it's best to just start from the top get yourself a good pair of scissors if you are not good if, if you're afraid that you might not make it even him then i would suggest you either mark the center with a pen or pencil um you can use a measurement tape whatever makes you feel comfortable to mark the center but i'm just going to eye it so i'm using this here and remember you're only cutting the top layer you're not doing both layers so i'm making sure my scissors is away from that second layer and i'm going to take a little cut now because this is silk, this is going to cut really easy. So I'm going to brace my hand right underneath that initial cut. And I'm basically just gliding. As you can see, I'm just gliding my scissors straight down the center. Don't be using my little secret method by holding my legs on the fabric. So I'm just using my scissors. And as you can see, I'm not cutting up and down. I'm just basically guiding my scissors down the front, oopsie, the front of the fabric. And now it is a opened kimono. Now, you can stop there and just rock it like that. But because this is a silk Mumu, I have to hem those edges and I can't leave them the way they are. That's where the binding tape comes. So, there are different ways that you can do it. You can cut a measurement along the entire length, the entire length of your hem, like this. Or you can cut them in small pieces. Me, myself, I am going to cut it the length of the hem. And mind you, this is a, a, binding, a binding tape. So it's, it's going to stick on both sides. But please read the directions. And I'm going to cut right there. So I wanted to show you how I use the binding tape. It's kind of hard to see it, but this is what it looks like. Uh, and I basically have it lined up to the edge of the raw edge of the fabric. And what I do is just fold it over. You want to make sure that this is not hanging over. See how this is hanging over right here? We don't want that. We want our fabric to be completely over. And this is what the... This is how you uh, do that. So I just wanted to show that to you real quick. So as you can see, I have bonded 
the raw edge of the mumu using the bonding tape following the directions and I have a clean edge all the way down. So I'm going to do the other side off camera and I'll show you the end result. Okay guys, so with that being said, I was not satisfied with my end result of my kimono. So I went to the fabric store and I got me a yard of this beautiful fabric. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the lower half of the mumu so that the bottom of my kimono has this beautiful fabric facing. I wanted it as close as the Gucci inspired Beyonce kimono as possible. So I also purchased this beautiful trimming, beaded trimming to put around my collar. And like I said, this is a no sew method. So what I'm going to use is my E6000 uh, glue. I have my fabric, my trim, my sticks I'm going to use, and some more scissors. Now, like I said, I wasn't finished with the end result, but I wanted to show you what else I did to it. 